Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how I set up this vivarium, my new pet corn snake. The enclosure I'm going to be using is a 90 by 38 by 42 centimeter wooden vivarium. This enclosure won't be the snake's permanent home, and once she gets older and grows in size, she will be getting an upgrade. I bought this vivarium on eBay, which had already been used, so I did have to clean it before setting it up. I installed a heat guard as they are vital for snakes, due to the fact that they can lift up to a third of their body length even without any support, which could mean that they would touch the heat lamp and burn themselves. To do this I simply drilled a few holes into the wood and screwed it on. For the substrate I decided to use Arcadia Earth Mix Arid, as I think it looks a bit more natural compared to other options such as Aspen or Newspaper. Additionally, I found that the Arcadia substrates are pretty good at absorbing any smells from feces and urates, and will also allow the snake to dig and burrow if it wishes. While spreading the substrate throughout the tank, I added more towards the back to give the scape a greater sense of depth. Having added in all the substrate, I then went on to the decor, starting with this piece of wood. It kind of looks like a small log, and is hollow on the inside, so the snake will be able to go inside it and use it as a hide. The same can be said for this next piece of wood, which has a small space inside it that the snake can get into. I think it's nice for reptiles to have multiple hides inside of a vivarium, so that cover is spread out across the thermal gradient from the warm side to the cool side. This allows them to regulate body temperatures while staying hidden away if they wish, which causes less stress for the animal and will help them feel safe and secure at all times. I then added some cork branches and some fake vines, so that I can give the corn snake an opportunity to climb and give it some extra enrichment. Having done that, I added a few hides to the warm end of the vivarium. As for the final touches, I just tucked in a few fake plants here and there. Having finished setting up the enclosure, I drove over, picked up the snake, and drove back home. The snake, whom I had named Marshmallow, was kept in this temporary enclosure, away from the other reptiles while I quarantined her. I think I did quite a good job at setting up this temporary enclosure. She escaped within the next week. Luckily, Marshmallow was found in the same day, hiding inside a box of similarly coloured golf balls. Thankfully. Once her quarantine was finished and moved into a proper enclosure, she has not escaped in the 9 months I've had her so far, since the incident. She's been doing very well under my care, eating and passing her food as she should. I'm also quite happy that she utilised the branches when exploring in the evenings. I'm going to be showing you a few clips of Marshmallow as I end the video here. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.